No, my Fridoli colony isn't dead yet. After getting so many questions about them, asking me if I want to make a colony update video, it's finally time. You really want to watch until the very end of this video to see how this colony is doing. They made an amazing recovery, but more on that later. For all my new subscribers, a short recap on my Fidoli Pallidula colony. The Fidoli queen came in a broken test tube. She was very stressed and it took several months before the first workers emerged. After that, everything went quite well. They were doing well, so we moved them into a Wakushi S2 queen module. Sadly, this wasn't a very good decision. There was no new brood and the workers started dying off rather quickly. The queen only had a few workers left and was back where she once started. If the workers would all die, the queen would most likely die as well. So I came up with a rescue plan to hopefully revive this colony. I made a simple tubs and tube setup for them in the hope to provide them with easier conditions to nest in. At this point in time I had zero hopes for the colony and was already searching to buy a new one since this one would probably die. And that is where we are now, I did not look at the colony for months. I placed half of the test tube on a heating mat. This worked very well. I fed the colony's fruit flies, but a lot of them. Even with these small numbers I fed them around 5 fruit flies a week. Then water started to run out in the test tube, yet another problem. Since I left them undisturbed for so long, I decided to force move them into a new test tube with an insert. I did not record all of this because I thought the colony was going to die anyway. To my surprise, the colony had quite some brood and even a few new workers. This gave me a lot of hope and motivation to carry on. Weeks went by and because it was hard for me to check on the colony, I just didn't. Looking back, I made the right call. Ants need rest and I provided them that. Then at one point in time I was feeding all my colonies and I gave the Fidoli Polydula colony a superworm or Morio worm. Then I saw this. I quickly grabbed my camera and pressed record. Adjusting my camera settings on the go because I was so hyped. Look at all these workers in the outworld. When I saw this I was so happy. There were a lot of workers eating the superworm. And if you look closely, you can see a lot of very young light skin workers. This was great news and it meant that the colony was producing new workers. I just had to check up on them and see how the colony was doing. I felt like this is the time. So I took the test tube out of the outworld and looked in the test tube. Look at this. Whoa, what a recovery this colony made. In just a few months time, this colony went from 3 to 30 workers. And did you spot her yet? Yes, the first media of this colony. How cool is that? Later in this video you will see her much better. Shooting through a test tube is not ideal for viewing. I saw a lot of brood and a lot of workers. Sadly, the water in the test tube was also running out quite fast. That's why I thought it was best to move this colony to a new nest where I can control the humidity much better and give them a liquid feeder. So let's move them into a new nest. I had an Ends of Europe founding nest lying around, a nest that I designed for him. I also got this nest for free, so a huge thank you to Ends of Europe. If you are interested in this nest, there is a link in the description where you can get it. All right. The test tube insert had the perfect diameter to fit my tubing. So I connected it to the nest. I put a bright light over the ends and darkened the nest. A few hours went by and I saw zero movement. I decided to just take my time and put an outworld in between the nest and the test tube.
the ants their much needed water, I placed the liquid feeder inside the outworld. Before anyone asked, these are my liquid feeders that I sell in my shop. They are not the best, definitely not, but they work quite well for larger species and in outworlds without substrate. A day went by and all of a sudden I saw escaped workers. This was a problem and they were escaping via the tube. The tube did not fit perfectly and the ants could crawl through the gaps. So I decided to pull out the insert and place it into the outworld. This actually went pretty well and overnight the whole colony moved into the nest. I left them alone for a couple of days and this is what the colony looks like now. Don't they look amazing? What an awesome species and that media is looking very cute. Her head is so big. left to do was feed the ants. Because they are tiny, I put some sugar water on a ball of cotton. The ants can drink from it and prevents them from drowning in the nectar. This also works really well for species like Lazius flavus and even Niger who drown in liquid food often. I'm very happy that this colony is on a good way to recover. They can stay inside this nest for at least a few months until they have 100 workers or so. Right now the nest is a little big, but I'm sure they grow into it fast. Large Fedoli colonies look really fun and I definitely want them to thrive. Alright, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think. I read all your comments. See you guys later. Bye.